2015, about to wrap a whole bunch of Christmas gifts. Now, it seems a little late, but tomorrow's the big family Christmas party, and I'm gonna get to see my nieces, my brother, my sister, my parents, my grandmother, who's turning 90-something, three maybe, I'm in trouble. I have some things here I have to wrap that I bought at Five Below for my nieces. I literally went nuts this year, and they had a lot of cool stuff, and I just kept buying. Now, I got a bunch of Frozen stuff. Now, this year, when I was playing Santa at so many parties, every party, somebody, if not everybody, asked for Elsa and Anna Frozen stuff. A few boys asked for Olaf, a few boys asked for Anna, so that was interesting. So, not judging. So, Santa actually developed an impersonation of Elsa because it was kind of funny. I figured I can kind of do something. So I'm like, oh, you know, Santa does an impersonation of Elsa, right? Want to hear it? Once in a while they said no, but I did it anyway. Let it go! Let it go! Oh, you want to build a snowman? Oh, yeah. Frozen jumbo playing cards. Crazy Apes, Rummy, and Snap, and many more games. A Frozen puzzle with Anna, Olaf, and Sven. And then we have Frozen Popper game. Uh, Frozen Popper Junior game, which is basically trouble. That little thing you push it down, pop, and the dice go like this. Uh, for kids who aren't coordinating yet to like do this with their dice. We got some books. My niece Mackenzie likes to read a lot. She's very, very intelligent. And I know she would just love discovering all these cool things about the world. They, I think they got the seven wonders of the world plus a whole bunch of other stuff. 2,000 laugh out loud jokes. I was going to give this to my niece Mackenzie because she actually came up here and participated in our comedy camp, lived with us for an entire week two summers ago. But um, she already learned how to do comedy, so this is for Riley. Mad Libs Jr., because I'm an improv guy, Mad Libs is kind of like improv on paper, and it's Dora. Uh, swiper, no swiping, huh? And I'll do impersonations. Now, this gets cool. This is some of the bigger stuff. I've got a keyboard here, because I think all kids learn how to play music. Sam may or may not have a keyboard, but she should learn music, and I love to teach music. I'm a musician. Oh, what was that? Oh, I forgot about those. Oh my goodness. You're like, bodiless elf on the shelves? Oh my goodness. Oh, ow! Okay. In the same household, they will drive my sister crazy. Sorry. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Yoo-hoo! I think every young child should learn how to play music, and this is a little basic, and it's a lot of fun. She's four years old, I think, now, and uh, I think she'll have a lot of fun with that. This is one of my coolest gifts ever, I think. A desktop drum kit. Everyone should have one of these at the house. Everyone should have one of these at the office. I'm giving it to my niece, because it's another thing that'll totally drive my entire family crazy. This one, DIY candle maker. Uh, that's Disney Youth, right? DIY? I think that's a Disney thing. But age is eight and up. I think this would be a lot of fun. She loves to do arts and crafts, and I think this would be a cool thing. And I, I think it's never too young to start Pyromaniacs off with colorful projects. One thing that keeps you from getting ahead in life are impulse buys at the register. Like these wonderful Despicable Me finger puppets. <laughs> when they all get together, they can put on a show. <laughs> Banana! These are really cute unicorns. Uh, they're Beanie Babies. I didn't know they had Beanie Babies anymore. Giddles! Hey! Rainbow of fun, Christmas cane, whatever you guys want to call it. I'm giving everybody Giddles. I'm giving everybody Giddles. I... Oh. Now we get to wrap it! Woo! <laughs> you know, wrap the gifts. You don't want to hear me wrap. I learned how to wrap a present when I was really young, and I've ever since really done it poorly, but I think I'll wrap a couple of these nicely. Of course, being an uncle who does comedy, it is important to wrap at least one or two gifts every year that are just ridiculously covered in tape. If you can't make it pretty, make it funny. Alright, wrap it up like this. Alright, we're all set. I have a pile of presents for Mackenzie. A pile of presents for Riley. I've got a bag of presents for Samantha. What do you think of the gifts I got for my nieces? Am I a cool uncle? Am I the greatest uncle ever? Hey, what kind of cool, great gifts did you get this year? What kind of gifts did you give this year? And what gifts do you plan on re-gifting as soon as possible? See you guys. Happy New Year.